Hey everyone, it's Sarah here with Free Mind. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm focusing on idioms about health, wellness, or medicine, and I've got four idioms on the board that I'd like to go over with you today. The first one is burnout. Burn out. This is a, a phrasal verb that means you are so tired, you're done, you're finished. You worked too many hours and now you're just finished. So a burnout is a bad thing. Now one little comment here on the pronunciation, we're going to connect this, burnout, burnout. All right, this is a verb, so it'll change depending on when it happens. Oh man, I burned out, I burned out last year. The next one is back on your feet. And I've got a circle here because this will change depending on if it's you, me, he, she, right? You could say back on his feet, back on my feet. This will change. And this means to be healthy again. So maybe last week you were sick, but this week you're back on your feet. The be verb here. So I'm back on my feet or you're, you are, you're back on your feet, okay? Connecting here, back on, back on, back on your feet. The third one is break down. Now, what's interesting about this one is that it can be either um, a noun or a verb. If it's a verb, we would say, I, I broke down, maybe in the past. I broke down last year. And it means you just burned out, same kind of thing. You were overwhelmed, worked too much, sick, whatever, you just finished, okay? So this would be the verb. If you're gonna use it as a noun, you wanna say a breakdown. And normally we use the verb have, have. You have a breakdown. For example, last year I had a breakdown or last year I broke down. The pronunciation is going to differ slightly depending on whether you use it as a verb or a noun. So check this out, okay? The verb, I broke down last year versus I had a breakdown. I had a breakdown. I broke down. Okay, it's a very subtle difference, but it, it will affect your, the listener's understanding of what you say. So one more time, I broke down last year, or I had a breakdown last year. Okay, the last one is to break out in, and we break out in a rash, maybe. And it means, break out in means that this started. Okay, so it just, just came up, started. And we would say, I, and this is a verb, so this changes depending on the that when it happened. So I broke out. I broke out in a rash yesterday. Or I hope I don't break out in a rash. Okay, if you know you have an allergy to something, um, you, you don't want to break out in a rash. Okay, thanks for watching another video with me, Sarah at Free Mind. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.